Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show, episode 672. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Am I the only one who looks around for the Rangoo ghost whenever someone uses a tape gun? <laughs> you feeling better? Oh, I'm, I'm, as you can see, the eyes are no longer looking like a You don't look season. like a walker from Fear the Walking Dead season one. Yeah. Or well, is it the other thing? But anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, what's up, Chris? Hey, what's up, everyone? So, did you see Fear the Walking Dead? Yep. Okay. Chris and I were, like, in sync. He texted me the same thing I was thinking. T- tell them what we were talking about, like, yesterday. Well, no, like, it's, it's, it's subtle. It didn't, like, take the whole episode down, but I just thought, like, it, it, it really confused me. And I don't know if this is something – I've never heard that it has to be like this in television, so I don't know if this is a thing that they have to do. I really don't think it is, but there was a, there was a scene or a couple of scenes in Fear the Walking Dead where the characters were speaking in Spanish, right? Right. And they had the subtitles on the bottom. Right. But one of the characters was wearing a completely white shirt. Yeah. And the subtitles were in white. You can't so see they, shit. Oh, they showed up on the white shirt. And you couldn't see what they were saying. I mean, and Sharon said the same shit. I don't know what the fuck they were saying. And then you texted me the moment I was thinking it, and I was talking to her about it. I'm like, holy shit, I'm not the only one. I was watching the show with my mom, right? And and, and I was like, who puts white subtitles on a white white background? And my mom was like, oh, good. I couldn't read it either. Nobody (laughs) could. Nobody could. That's the whole point. How the fuck do you do that? Excuse my language. I don't like really curse, but like Jesus. Someone like the editors, right? Somebody fucked Shouldn't up. They have they caught that. Did. Yeah. That's just me. I don't know. You know. Listen, again, I don't know. You know what is it in this day and age lately where people putting out the wrong fucking articles and not even researching shit? They're not even spelling shit right. Somebody put an article about Spider Man's third reboot. No genius. It's the second reboot. Second and, reboot. And and, and like. Then you have shit like this going wrong when you can't even see the subtitles. Like, it, it, are they like lackadaisy this day and age that they're not really into their work that nobody's checking their work to see if they're doing it they're right? Not. I they're mean, not. I swear I've seen yellow subtitles. On yes, your- you changed yeah. the yeah. fucking yeah. color before. Mm. You, usually, you would pick a color that kind of works against the background, right? So mm-hmm. that you, you, it doesn't blend in. Yellow is usually something good because usually the yellow that they use for t- subtitles doesn't match anything that's going to be up there unless it's something weird. But right. white is a re- – first of all, white blends in. It's a very difficult yeah. color to type words in. And, and when these characters – because when you're speaking in Spanish, a native speakers usually speak very quickly. Yeah. So they don't leave the subtitles on the screen very long. So it's not like you could go to another shot because another character starts talking where the subtitles go away. So, again, this was a minor thing. It was a nitpick, but I was like, this is a major, you know, primetime show. You can't be doing stuff like this. Like, <laughs> I got to tell you what really fucking pissed me off, and I'm going to curse about it, because season two of The Walking Dead, Herschel had all the people in the bar. Okay? Now, fucking season two of The Fear of the Walking Dead, they have everybody in the fucking cellar. Like what? Okay, are you good. fucking I'm glad copying? I didn't look that because I'm because like I said, I don't watch it on TV. I watch it like on uh, uh, Rainier Land, and I go. So I so I pretty much back it up. That don't look like a bar. And I watch it again. Yeah, and that's when I noticed it was like. Why are they copying off of Walking Dead? Well, you want to know what I want to know? Like the the old man was talking to that kid from the door. He didn't hear the zombies making noise. Yeah. <laughs> when he walked in, they were all like, <laughs> and I'm How could he like, not see what the fuck that was? You, it's like there was no door on it. I see a whole right. thing. And I, I, was like, like, I, I, I was shocked when he walked in and they were right there. I thought he was going to have to go down a hallway or the door was covered. Oh, like, open the door. They're, like, they're reaching out. I'm sitting there like he didn't hear that. Like it's almost as if it was a different room compared right. to when you're looking into. Right. It's bad. It's, and I wouldn't have said anything, but then I was like, wait a minute, though. He was talking to the kid, and the kid heard him playing his day, and then he heard the kid. We all heard the kid and talking. it's a different fucking room. 
I mean, we're looking through the window and it's like, that's, and then you go in there, it's a totally different area. It's like, do get your shit together at least. The, whoever did the editing, like, you certainly. I'm warp into another room. Yeah. That was so fucking unorganized and bad. God. They must have the same guy who did the. That was really fucking horrible. The, um, uh, what was it? I can't remember what uh, James Bond, where they go, they go to the attack. But yet, one minute it's night, but yet the next minute it's daytime. I'm trying to remember what... Uh, yeah. Now, that lady that was taking care of Abigail, Thomas Abigail, right? Yeah. Was that his mother or was it his fucking servant? I, I think it's his mother because she, she was talking about him as a kid. Oh, mm-hmm. right. so, so that's I what like, I okay. thought. I'm like, okay, this is his fucking mother, and she's like mad because I guess... I don't know if she's mad because they were gay or that she shouldn't accept the guy, you know, um, Strand? Yeah. But then it's like, all right, she's going to take care of everything, right? So I guess she's going to poison them and then kill um, – I mean, here's the thing. He doesn't know that fucking people are in the cellar. So right. He assume that she's going to kill both of them or kill himself. But then he says, oh, let me just fucking kill the guy, which was like his boyfriend or whatever. Now there's going to be a fucking problem next episode because she fucking likes to round everybody up and throw them in the cellar. Well, I'm pretty sure that Strand knew that those things were poisoned because he wanted to go with him. No, he knew that they were poisoned, but I don't think he knows that they're in the fucking cellar. Well, you see, I was confused about that too because when he walked, when when he, when they first got there, right, he walks up to her and he's like, how is he? And she goes, uh, you know, and he goes, oh, is he one of them? And I was like, okay. Is he talking about just zombies? But then like when I saw the that, walker, I was like, like, is he one of the walkers or something? Yeah. So I don't know if he was referring to just walkers and or a walker in general. I thought that's right? what or he that means. when he said walkers in general, or if if he means the ones in the bar slash prison slash. Which I don't really think he knew about. I don't think anybody knows. Except and then the guy, Sal, was it Salazar or yeah. whatever? Like, what's that fucking coin? That he just decided not to bring the, the mother or whatever. It's some sort of owl thing. I don't know. And he threw it in the fucking water and then he fucking regretted it. Yeah. And he's like all miserable about it. But then he's like, oh no, this is just one sick crazy bitch. There's so, two I don't things. really give a shit. Yeah. There's two things I need to know. A, what the hell are they doing with Chris's character? Because that character, I'm losing it with him. I'm like, I don't care. Get him Let off me tell you show. something. That kid needs to be killed. Because that kid would, would like, he's like fucking Norman Bates right there. Fucking just like he wants her dead because she ratted him out. Yeah. The mother and the daughter he wants to dead. Shut him down the cellar. Like, yeah. That'll do a quickie. No, but you know, it's like, it's like he's talking about, oh, his character's great on fucking Talking Dead. And then and the fucking episode later, his character's a piece of shit. And I'm like, oh, I can't stand this fucking character. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to bring up too was there was a line, in, there was a line in the freaking preview for the next episode where Nick walks up to his mother and he's like I live among them mom I was like what <laughs> like what yeah cause he put the he yeah. fucking walk with so them so he's way. losing his mind too so who the hell are we gonna have left Travis well, well I, I don't think Nick's dying anytime soon I don't think so but either. I think Chris is dying definitely yeah probably cause he's a piece of shit and I really don't give a fuck. They got to create some type of, you know, so. I don't know what the hell is going on with this show. I thought the show was terrible last Daniel, time. Daniel, how are you, sir? Daniel. Daniel's on. Man, how are you, man? You all right? Yeah. Did you see, you don't watch Walking Dead, right? No, I don't. All right, all right. We're just, we're rambling about Fear the Walking Dead because it's just, so we're, we're going to finish off with we this. Want, we, want bear, we want Fear the Walking Dead to be buried. Yeah, so I, 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 I next week is the mid season finale. Um, so then we'll finally, you know, and everybody's like, "Why are you still watching it? Why are you still?" It, it got a little better. It did get better. I mean, it was. It's very. I know it's very slow. It just it's still slow, but it's just it got a little better. Slow. Let's just see the finale and get done with it. I just finished Bates Motel. I'm friggin' traumatized. You saw it, Scott? I'm watching after we get done with it. Oh, my God. God. The most disturbing <laughs> shit. Just watch it. It's crazy. I, I can't be mad at it. I give it a 10 out of 10, even though I don't 
didn't happen the way I wanted it to. I'm still doing I just, you know, if it has, like Sean was telling me, if it, you're not affected by it, you love it. But it's like, you know, all right. So my whole thing is they build these characters to be so amazing and then you just don't want to let them go, you know? So, all right. So, no, friggin' Base Motel is done. Damien's done. Um, what do we got left? Friggin' Game of Thrones was fantastic on friggin' last night. Unbelievable. And you see it, Scott? I'm sorry. Game of Thrones? No, it's, like I said, I got I went right. up and did a few things. So I'm not going to say what happened either. Phenomenal. Um, Penny Dreadful is so effing good. I didn't see last night. But let me tell you something. I'm just hooked. That I think this season is going to be even better. And it's, I think it's an extended season. And then at some point in time, yes, Daniel, I got to get caught up with stuff. Uh, there's other stuff that's happening this week. So, um, there is uh, – so now, Daniel, what do you want to talk about, buddy? Without revealing stuff to us because we didn't get caught up with Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow. Yeah. And, um, how are you doing? You doing all right? Yeah, sort of. What's the matter, man? You want to talk about it off air? Yeah. All right, don't talk about it on air. Okay. Um, we'll talk about it off air. Uh, we but have some gotta, numbers for what you really gotta get caught up on. A, a I, tomorrow dude, I listen, 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 listen. So, I work, I know I work so many friggin' hours, dude. I and now, especially with all these different projects I'm undertaking and I uh, have deadlines and stuff, I this is like really bad time to get caught up with episodes because I have so much stuff I'm trying to get done, and I'll tell you about that off air, but it's just. Uh, uh, next week, I'm hoping. Yeah. That I could, I could are, you, are you caught up with Legends and Arrow? No, I told you no. But don't oh, talk to me. Neither am I. Uh, but I want to talk about Civil War. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah. You've got to go see that, bro. But $942 million as of Sunday. Yeah. Okay, almost at a billion. It'll probably be the announcement tomorrow that it passed a billion dollars. Would, would you say that's accurate, Chris, maybe? Or more, uh, yeah, uh, soon, yeah. Soon. Pretty much. And the thing I have to say about that is, is that it was an excellent movie. And now what do we have left? Now we're going to X-Men because that's the, that's the thing right now. Um, I really don't know how X-Men is going to be because supposedly people are saying that they revealed everything in the trailers, which I hate that. Yeah, that's me too. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see. But recall, this is going to be another X-Men movie, so I'm happy about that. What about you, Chris? Are you going to see X-Men or no? I, I'm going to see it, but I got to say, like, when it comes to X-Men, it's not just this one. I don't get excited because I'm not really an X-Men guy. Right. Um, I'm honestly, a Marvel guy, so I get excited with that. Yeah. Stuff. Honestly, the X-Men are, are I, I have to say, I think they're probably my least favorite. Really? Uh, hero group. Um, I, I got to say, really, I mean, the, to me, I, I love the concept. I think that it has a great concept, but X-Men to me, I never got into it. I'm always kind of like, oh, okay, it's okay. Right. I do have to say that I got a free movie ticket for my Regal Rewards. Yeah. And I wasn't expecting because we were going to movies anyway. And I saw Money Monster with George Clooney and Julia Roberts. Mm. I got to say, it's not always about superhero, superhero, yeah. superhero, horror. No. And I got to say, I Sharon wanted to see it so bad, and I loved it. I'm so glad we went to see it. I mean, she she usually picks winners all the time. So it was it was a great friggin' flick. It's different. Check it out. Uh, Money Monster. Uh, eaten six. I forgot this one. Money Monster. Monster. Highly recommended for Matrix Two and Two and Sharon. So very good. Uh, we also saw some figures. Uh, went to Toys R Us. Right. You guys saw the videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah, I want to talk about the Ghostbusters stuff because this is blowing my mind. In case you didn't see the the, the Ghostbusters, I'm going to spoil it right now. Uh, am I led to believe that the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, they do fight him in this movie? Because it sure looks like that. that. Looks like too, yeah. According to the action figures that I have, that that guy Rowan was the main bad guy. I thought the other one was like a second command bad guy. And then Stay Puff is there also. So I'm like, How I think they, they just threw that in. Stay I, I, it's an alternate reality. I know. I don't know. I don't know, but and I work with a guy who's actually a, 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 a Ghostbuster, and he just said that 
uh, Ramus and I forget whoever else founded the pretty much acknowledged their group as uh, oh in the movie yeah yeah oh, so, the same universe no not no I'm just saying they confer because he's with the group with a, a Ghostbusters group and, he, and they've got a card from whoever created Ghostbusters saying pretty much saying hey you guys are now part of the official uh, Ghostbusters group and, they, and I mean he was ecstatic. Hmm. So I'm kind of confused about it, but I mean, we'll see in July. Uh, again, from the trailer, you would think it's the same universe, but then it turns yeah, it's not. But maybe it is. I mean, it's maybe, and then blah blah blah. Right? Maybe it's years later. I mean, so uh, any news, Chris? There was um, <laughs> there was two articles that I wanted to talk about because I, 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 I Spell Island thing that you posted. Yeah, that that was one of the ones I wanted to talk about. Um, because I think there's a potential problem there. Um, Skull Island? Yeah, it, it's more about the ride, the Universal ride. Okay. Yeah. I think we can pretty much confirm that the Universal ride is totally separate from Skull Island, the movie. Right. Because if it's not, they have a major problem. They revealed Kong's size in the ride and, and, and like what he's supposed to be in the story. And he, he's 30 feet tall. What? So he's that's normal size for Kong, but he's three hundred twenty-five feet off of Godzilla. So I'm guessing that it's a different Kong. It's a different Kong. It's it a has different to be Kong, a separate yeah. story. Absolutely different Kong. Um, they're not gonna have him like super grow or nothing like that, like Jet Jaguar or something. No, that's it's a different Kong. Yeah, because to me, the whole Godzilla and Kong thing, no. Kong was pretty much was always shorter than Godzilla as it was. Yeah, so, no, it's a different Kong. Now, now, Chris, you pointed out that, that figure that I showed, there is no space Godzilla? No, NECA only has the rights to do Godzilla figures, like literally just Godzilla himself. What? Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, no, seriously, their contracts say that they only have the rights to do multiple just versions Godzilla. of Godzilla. That, that, yeah. What is he supposed to fight? Was he supposed to... Well, the, 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 reason for, the reason for it is NECA is, is in a huge war against SH Monster Arts, and SH Monster Arts is winning because they, their figures look great. Personally, I like NECA better because I think they provide a better product at a lower price. Right. Um, but, you know, it, it, unfortunately, NECA has no right to make any other monsters other than Godzilla in that line. That's um, which, boring, dude. Which is a shame because I think that they could make some great figures out of monsters there. It's boring, man. I mean, that thought you can't have a hero without a villain figure. I mean, yeah. these kids still play with it regardless of how much money they are now. The I mean, not just collect them. So the great, the great thing about NECA though is that those six-inch figures are just like twenty dollars a piece. Yeah, I know. Which may sound expensive, but when you look at the Bandai figures, Bandai yeah. figures can some sometimes go for thirty-five dollars plus. Oh, yeah. I know. And I they know. Have less I spent on fortune so when these kids wanted each one, I spent a right. fortune. I had to ship that stuff overseas. When it, well, forget it. It was really there. There is actually some other news about the figures too. Um, um, Bandai Creations, the American branch, I believe, confirmed that they have a. 12 inch Shin Gojira figure that Ooh. they're going to be putting out along with two re released figures uh, of a 12 inch Final Wars Godzilla and a 12 inch uh, uh, Kiru, which is Mecha Godzilla 3, uh, or well, technically 4. Um, so those are going to be re released. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping NECA can make a 12 inch Shin Gojira figure because, in my opinion, the best NECA figure I've ever seen is the NECA 12-inch Legendary Godzilla from 2014. Yeah. Um, they put so much work into that figure, um, and I, I think it's great. So I, I'm hoping that they do it for Shin Gojira, um, but I have to wait and see. Right. Um, I bought the 2014 DVD version, like I said, yeah. of Godzilla, and I, and the, I have the Godzilla 1985 DVD, uh, VHS somewhere, so I guess I, I'm, I have the whole collection then in that way. <laughs> To say it that way, unless they make it on DVD, the Godzilla 1985. Um, I'm hoping they do at some point. I also bought a Captain America cup. That do I want to go get it? Let me see. I'll probably show it later on. I feel like all the way in there and get it. Um, 
But there's what else did I wanted to talk about? There was a I think geek store that opened in the city on Thirty Fourth Street. It's a it's a you know GameStop owns it, and it's but in the city there was like a video. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want to go. I'm gonna go to that this week because they got everything there. Yeah, they do. Or I might wait to the weekend because I think Joe wants to go there. And Anthony, so I mean, I, we might wait till the weekend. We might actually go in the city on the weekend because cool. it, they actually want to go someplace. And I'm like, all right, if that's the way to get you to the city, let's go. So, because usually I don't want to go in the city, but um, yeah. So think there all day, every day of the weekend. There's so much stuff to see out there in the city. It's like amazing. I'm Anthony just went to Madame Tussauds. Oh, so he took pictures on the ET on the bike and all kinds of stuff, and he's got some cool stuff. Um, but yeah, there's so much stuff to do in the city. Um, now, Daniel, what what shows do you watch besides Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow and The Flash? Is there anything else you watch on TV? No, not yet. Not yet. Maybe you'll watch some soon. Maybe. Uh, what about movies? You gonna go to the movies anytime soon? Uh, there isn't really anything I want to see. You don't want to see Civil War, man? Really? Well, no. no. Because like you know. I live no? like, I live like I don't know, like like an hour away from town, and really? movie la- a movie lasts like what two hours or something. So it's two and a half hours, I think, right? I think. So, you know, if I were to go and watch a movie, my my folks would have to wait two and a half hours in town. You know. Right. Like, okay. Maybe. All right. Makes sense. Yeah. I'll send you the link because uh, I know where Nearland's got it now. Because what's funny is when I went to see uh, Civil War. Just before it started, there was this big old posting that said, please do not record, uh, use any video. No bad activity at all. Yeah, no. yeah, right in front of the No video activity. It's wrong, damn it. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. I just started laughing. I pay for my tickets. That's all. Yeah, yeah same here. Yeah. Um, and sp- in fact, we go to moves all the time. I got to say, though, my last experience, Sharon knows, because I got a free ticket with the rewards, I decided, all right, let me try a – hot dog in the movie theaters and spend because the price of a movie ticket's like a hot dog probably and like whatever i gotta say it was so bad i i know not to get uh, it was the bread was hard as a rock yeah i almost broke my teeth on the hot dog bun and i don't know how long the hot dog was out or whatever and i'm like no. whatever so no more hot dogs that was a one-time thing I- yeah, and the pretzel said, bites were like cold. And Mattoon King. Right? Oh, we God. like our pretzel bites. This I don't know if it's the theater's closing or what. The pretzel bites were closed, and it's like, wow. And even the so- well, soda was okay. That was the only thing that was okay. But, I mean, I, I figured, all right, I got a free ticket, so let me get extra more extra goodies. Yeah. Big mistake. Big mistake. So, Done that before. Not happy with that. All right. So, besides that, uh, Chris – there was some announcements yeah. today that Harley Quinn is getting a movie. Oh, I just saw that on IGN. Bad idea. So my question is, are they doing this because they have no <laughs> faith in the superhero movies? I, I don't know what they're doing. It's, you, you, know, you know what it is? They're, they're seeing the reaction that Margot Robbie is getting from mm-hmm. this, and they're like, oh, she's popular. Let's make a movie. But it's and signed. It's, like, it's official. I know, and, and I think it's a bad idea. I do. Cause, well, well, let me ask you a question. What are they going to do in a Harley Quinn movie? It's, it's going to be like TNA. What? It's, it's going to be like, the boobs are out. I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's going to be like, and Poison Ivy's going to be with her or something. It's going to be like, oh, There's, right. I, Yeah, here, let me bring up evil, the... Evil girl power. It's if the Powerpuff Girls went bad. No, I'm just, like, serious. It's like... What are they going to do? Just destroy everything? And wh- What's the storyline? What's the resolution? Well, you know what will happen. They'll be doing their thing, and then Batman will have to show up and stop them. That's what they're going to do. Mean, is Batman. that why? To have Batman in it? Is that what it's going to be? Like- well, like, you know what's going to happen? Batman's going to show up in all these movies because DC goes, oh, Batman's popular. We can't get any of our other characters over, but Batman's over. But so they're going to put Batman in the movies like Iron Man? Like Tony Stark in the movies? All right. Why not? He's already in Suicide Squad. That's... That's the IGN link they were talking about, uh, talking about uh, all that. Yeah. And what was the other second movie? Booster Gold, so, right? Yeah. Oh, God. Ooh. 
I'd rather see Harley. Uh, not the. I know. I was gonna say, but I'd rather see Harley Quinn and Booster Gold. Why though? But why Booster Gold? I don't understand. He's. So we could rather see him put out on a DVD. Yeah, it would be nice, right, Chris? If we got a friggin' Superman movie, a decent one. I mean, yes. Man of Steel two and three. I would say two and three. Why not one? Why just one? There, there was another article. It, it, it's it's uh, it's different. It's off topic from the DC stuff, but there was another funny article that's going around. It's like big news for Star Wars, right? I guess somebody was driving by the set of Episode Eight, right? And they got a shot of Daisy Ridley dressed in characters Ray on the set and the news is like Daisy Ridley on set as Ray and I was like yeah no kidding yeah like what, what did you think you were gonna see right, right like uh, like hey guys did you know that Daisy Ridley was playing Ray in the next movie and she wears no, a I didn't. slow news day people uh, slow news day oh I'm sorry spoiler alert um you know, next thing you know, they're gonna say, "Oh, Mark Hamill plays Luke Skywalker in the next movie." No, so could, the, no. Could, Jedi. could the company? And I'm not gonna name the company, but could the company that put the article out that said Spider Man's having a third reboot? Could you fix the damn article to take that out of there and make it second reboot? Because if you don't know how to count, don't even do the article because you look like an idiot by putting the wrong information out there. I, I can't stand, and I, I don't like sometimes I comment right because I'm just so annoyed. Like when, when the, I, there was this one time, one time, and I, I, I think I sent five emails to Dark Horizons in my lifetime um, since they started. And they said that like Thor was from DC and you know, whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, I had a heart attack. And I sent an email and immediately the article was changed around, but they mentioned like that Marvel characters were DC. And I'm like, I'm having a freaking, I freaking literally had ugly going crazy. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I saw a story, I heard a story where somebody did the same, but it was a reverse. It was like they stated that a DC. It's like, who, who, who does these articles? If you don't know who, about these characters, why are you even writing about this? Mm-hmm. It's like, a, what are you, a freelance writer that you've never seen? A, like, you don't know anything about it? Well, I, you can't Google it. I mean, I mean like, I, Jesus. Like, I mean, I've, I've, I've been coming hard on Screen Rant lately a lot because it's like they put this junk out there, and then I'm like, and I just said, I feel like I just have to say, hey, before you make an ass of yourself, whatever. And then, like, that's time with the bad members. But it's like, they, they had the nerve to say with that article that I was pissed about. They said, oh, what will Captain America, what will Captain America Civil War drop off at? First of all, don't use the terminology drop off. If the movie went up on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, I mean, I, nobody uses the word drop off. It was a DC movie that it seems like they favor that. So I was like annoyed about that. And now what could you say, Screen Rant? It was like almost a billion dollars. So obviously, I don't know what you're trying to do. Uh, anyway, Chris, what about the Transformers? Yes. Okay. So we got the title and a little teaser for Transformers 5. Um, the movie is going to be called Transformers The Last Night. Obviously, referring to the Silver Knights that were introduced in Age of Extinction. Right. Um, the crazy thing was, though, the crazy thing was, before the title was revealed, there was a picture of Optimus Prime's face. You know, he had the face plate on, looked exactly like he did in Age of Extinction. The only differences were the red paint was really faded, so he was silver, basically. There right. was red like, on the bottom of his face near his chin and his cheek. His eyes were purple. And now Autobots in these movies have blue eyes, Decepticons have red eyes. So I'm wondering if this is like either he's possessed maybe by Unicron or if he's, because he's a silver knight now, he's neither Autobot nor Decepticon. Well, that happened in the, in the cartoon, right? Didn't Rodimus Prime mm-hmm. have to like take him out and then... No, mm-hmm. it, it wasn't like that. Like some, they brought him back, but they were controlling him and he was right. still an Autobot. But it, it was much different than this. I, to tell you the truth, I was kind of hoping Optimus wouldn't be in the next one. Mm. I was kind of hoping that. I know that sounds weird. Like, what? Yeah, like, weird, no Optimus Prime. But here's, here's the thing, right? They could have introduced. I was hoping that what they would have done was Optimus goes away. He's not in the movie. He's doing his thing, right? Right. They introduce Ultra Magnus. Right. He comes to Earth and he's like, listen, I don't know what Optimus has been doing. I don't know what you guys have been doing, but this is a mess. And he takes control of the Autobots 
he does his thing fighting Galvatron and whatnot, and then, you know, he gets his arc resolved. And then at the end of the movie, maybe Optimus comes back and he's all damaged or something. He's like, There's a, you know, something's coming. Or maybe right. you see him off in space and he lands, and the next movie would be right. about him. Or a spinoff would be about him. Right. Um, I'm hoping Ultra Magnus gets a spinoff because I'd like to see that character in the hands of another director. Right. Um, now, this is Michael Bay again. Yes, it is, yes. Of course. And it's, it's probably going to do more, obviously. Not just... He, I think he signed for Transformers 6 and 7. Absolutely. See, what did I tell you? Um, but but here's That's the thing, it. though. Here's the right. thing. Those spinoffs are in the hands of other directors. Oh, thank that you, is fine. That's I would not be surprised if the spinoffs become much better than the actual series. That's so. It That's would fine. not shock me at all. Yeah. Let's hope so. Yeah, that's that's more that's than the racist robots and those balls hanging down in that other movie was stupid and asinine. Yeah, we only have a few minutes left. Uh, you want to talk about X Force? Uh, sure. Or you want to, or you want to continue with Transformers and we're just doing other everything show? I, I don't think there's much left with Transformers to tell you the truth. Okay, whatever. I said you a few. Whatever you want to talk. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this article's not. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right. Um, it says, uh, this article is again from Dark Horizons, and it says that X-Force needs an R rating. And basically what they're saying is because of the success of Deadpool and yeah. now the Wolverine movie, which is, mo- which is most likely going to, excuse me, which is most likely going to be rated R, um, they're saying that X-Force should be rated R as well. Um, and that would get I, it. I don't really agree with the, yeah, that. But are. I could see, because if he's going to appear in it, that would be rated R, but I really don't. I never really thought of X Force as rated R. Me neither. Material. Sure. Honestly, I mean, it's Wolverine. Not I not could not see with the Wolverine's like the uh, Aliens versus Predator. When Aliens versus Predator they came out, it was rated PG thirteen. You didn't see any blood, and it was green and stupid. Stuff. Then when they had AV two, it was like, okay, now you're getting gory, ripping guts out, whatever. It's like that's an alien movie. So Wolverine stabbing people with the claws, I could see. All right, it's going to be bloody and. Rated R. So X Force is not about that, though. So yeah. I wouldn't really want that. But I mean, I don't think. I mean, I don't know if that's going to work. You know, because mm. he'd be more Merc with the mouth in an X. I mean, he's just supposed to be the. I mean, he's supposed to be the teenagers and then the young adults and then the. X-Force. Yeah. It was like the new mutants became X Force because they're older, you know, and then you can't yeah, call them mutants. Siren and all. It was Boom other. Boom. It was Wolf's Bane. It was yeah. Cannonball. It was you know. It's like um, Liliana Rasputin, Dan Moonstar, Moonstar, Moonstar. I think right. So it was like a whole bunch of them. But uh, it, well, X Force was um, Shatterstar was Longshot's kid or something, and I forget if he was his kid, but I know he was from the same dimension. And the Domino, and and then yeah. it was Warpath was related to yeah Thunderbird that died and. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I really wouldn't see that as a reader, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I do want to say that they made Rush Hour for CBS, and we were joking about that, how that was going to be canceled right away. It's canceled, by the way. So, I'm glad that Rush Hour is canceled because it should have never been on TV, just like yeah. the cop shouldn't be, just like Leap the Weapon shouldn't be, but they're doing it anyway, and that'll be canceled too. So, um, there you go. I, I just have a problem with that. And I'm kind of still mad at CBS for what they do with Supergirl. I am happy. Oh, oh, Daniel, he asked me the other day. I think you misunderstood me when I, when I was talking about Supergirl. I don't want Supergirl done. You understand? I, I may not be happy that the budget's cut, but I'll take it because I love Supergirl. I mean, like, I'm always on the Twitter. They follow me. I follow them. I love all the actors and actresses for Supergirl. So I'm a me and Sharon, huge fan. So of course we're gonna watch it on CW. Absolutely. If that's the way to save the thing, okay, let's go. You know. But so it's just like it had like it had a three million dollar an episode budget on three and a half um, million. Yes, three and half million. Now, yeah. Now it's gonna have a one one million dollar or less budget because that's what all CBS shows are like, one million dollars or less. But you know, on the CW they have better looking shows like The Flash. The Flash is like a one million dollar. Or last show, and it looks it looks really good. I mean, well, look at three point five to one day. That bad? I think it's that bad. But like, yeah. I mean, I mean, let me look at Smallville. Smallville, 
did a pretty good job. It, it um, had like a, a CW budget. Looked, well, pretty good. I, I don't, I, you know, I'm not, we'll have to wait and see. Mm. That's, I can't. Oh, I'm also, you know, you know, um, I'm here, they're, they're like, they're, I'm speculating on the internet, like, okay, so are they going to keep the, the, the universes separate, or are they going to, like, converge the two universes together to make it one big universe? Uh, I, I hope not, because if they do, what? No, I was agreeing with you. Yeah, I hope no, they no, keep because if they, if they do converge the universes, not everything will be converged. Like, some things will disappear, some timelines, some people, some planets, some, uh, some things in each universe will disappear. They won't com completely converge. So I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't think, I think they'll find a way to like have it separate universes and then they'll do something to, I don't know. I mean, what, do you, know what, do you, what do you think, Scott? Do you want them to converge the universes? No, no, it should stay uh, separate. I want to see Supergirl say, wait a minute. Weren't we reading the Bernstein Bears and now they're in the Bernstein universe? That's, <laughs> that's basically. <laughs> Nobody got that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We were talking about the Bernstein and the Bernstein. Remember that, Scott? Yeah. yeah. Or, or what about yeah. what about what if what if they can just do this? Like, what if they just keep that a separate universe, right? And have Superman of that universe protect that Earth. How you know, when you, Kara how and Martian Manhunter, they just go to Earth one. one. They go to Earth one. You can't have Superman ever if there's no budget. What? There's no, if there's no budget for Supergirl, you can't even have Supergirl. Oh, yeah. It's not even his boot, you can't even have him. Yeah. Now they, now they can bring in Tom Welling if they want to. Yeah, with no budget. It's like... I mean, it did well on Smallville. Yeah, but there's no budget for Supergirl. I'm saying it's so bad, you can't even show his boot. Just so <laughs> bad, I mean, it's like, and it's like, all right, you know, all right, we'll see what happens. Maybe they can... It might be cheesy, the special effects, but we'll see. I mean, I guess we'll have to take it, you know? So... Uh, what do we got? A minute left. Yeah. Um, so congratulations to Civil War for 942 million, probably a billion dollars by tomorrow or more, and it's still going. So I'm happy, happy about that. All right, guys. Um, we may be back. We may not uh, today. So take your bye for now.